Next up, we have Saquon Barkley. And uh, as George Bush once said, fool me once, shame on shame on you. <laughs> fool me, you can't you can't get fooled again. Or something <laughs> like that. Look, Saquon Barkley has been injured for the last two seasons. He's fooled a lot of people. He tore his ACL in 2020, and he looked remarkably different in his first year back post-injury. Now, two years removed from that injury, kind of digging the value for Saquon in 2022. The Joe Judge experience is over. What an experience it was. And Brian Dayball is now here to save the day. Hopefully, we pray. Uh, Dable has pledged that he will get the ball get into it. Saquon's quads. I mean, hands with by whatever means necessary, including splitting him out wide as a receiver. May I remind you that Barkley had more than 90 catches and 120 plus targets as a freshman running back in the league for more than 700 receiving yards alone yep. and four touchdowns. He's shown he's Mm -hmm. more than capable of producing through the air. I will take those kinds of numbers in 22 at his current, what was it? End of the second round, beginning of the third round, ADP? Yeah, going 22nd ADP wise. That's delicious. Um, So, yeah, I will take that and then take Zeke immediately afterwards, and I'll see you in the fantasy playoffs. Yeah, he's a guy... And we're kind of remembering this when it comes to like like J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, right? Where running backs coming off of an ACL injury, you kind of got to give them a gear to like get fully right. And then they're back. Unless you're Adrian Peterson. He doesn't. He's just a robot. Yeah. So Saquon tore his ACL in 2020. Uh Saquon was playing for one of the worst offenses in football and one of the worst offensive coaches in football last Thank year. Thank you for not sparing the coach. I I do appreciate that. I, I mean, Joe Judge has a lot to do horrific. with it. He, he was horrific, and and I do have some hope for this offense uh, between Barkley and I. Don't think Daniel Jones is as bad as he's shown, and they still have Tony and Galladay and Sterling. Sh- like they have weapons on this offense. Yeah. And that division doesn't really scare me all that much from a defense perspective. Like, I think, you know, I think you I think the Giants are going to be better than than people think they are going to be this year. Yeah. So, yeah, they're they're going to find a way to get the ball in the Saquon's hands. And Saquon was the most maybe not the most electric, but he was one of the most electric players in football his first year. And he hasn't been since because he's just been on shitty teams. So we're hoping that please, for the love of God, Brian Dable, bring a good offense to New York and let's see what Saquon can do in a, in a fun, exciting offense. 